Hi there, so today we're going to cover how to change the speed of a clip in Final Cut Pro and also just have a little play around with it and see some of the interesting effects that we can get going as we start to play around with speed in Final Cut. So I've made a selection of a clip and what we have is this. Okay, and we're going to play around with the speed on this and uh, then we'll have a look at how we can copy and paste this and have some fun with the speed. So first of all, um, to change the speed, we need to grab the whole clip. Okay, and where we're going to change the speed is in the, the retime button up here on the middle right of our Final Cut Pro interface. Okay, so if we click and hold here, we have some options for retiming. We're going to look at the basic options, um, so the slow and the fast options here today. So first of all, we're going to slow this down. So 50%, 25%, and 10% are getting incrementally slower. Okay, so we'll go for 25% in the first instance, and you can see it slows the clip right down. So if I just undo the speed adjustment, you can see I've gone from a clip that's around 18 frames long, and then I'll just go to edit, redo, and you can see I've gone to a clip that's just over two seconds long. So it's stretched that clip out quite a lot. So if we play this back now, we get a distorted voice and a really slowed down clip. Now, what you'll notice is this orange bar that appears above the clip, okay? So we can use this if we come to the end of the clip to retime it some more. So if we click and hold here, we can drag that clip in to speed it back up or stretch it out even more. And if we zoom out of the timeline a little more, we can stretch it out even more. So we can really slow this clip right down. Okay, so I've slowed this right down to four seconds now. Okay, and so that's uh, the basic kind of retime um, in Final Cut. So there are a couple of options for the way that we actually render our retiming. So if we come to the retime editor and scroll down here, we can see that we have under video quality, um, a normal quality, a frame blending, and an optical flow. Now, the optical flow will really come into its own when you've got objects moving a lot on screen. So the next thing I want to do is speed this clip right up. So um, we can either drag this clip in until we start to see blue. So orange means slowed down and blue you can see means that it's sped up. But actually before I do that, I just want to make a slightly different selection of my clip. So I'm going to grab the high. Okay, so the high there, and I'm going to copy that and paste it to just after my clip here. Okay, so I just use Command and C and Command and V to paste, or Edit Copy and Edit Paste. Um, so now um, I'm going to come to the Retime Editor and speed this up to eight times. Okay, so it becomes a very small clip. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in, and in fact, I'm just going to speed it up a tiny, tiny bit less. So we have a couple of frames in there. Okay, so let's just grab this clip now and copy it and paste it in. And I'm gonna do Command and V a few times here. And you can see that if we do this, we get this nice repetition. Okay, so it's almost like a rhythmical beat. Okay, and we can speed up and when you don't see the retime editor there, if you just come to the retime button and scroll down to the bottom, you can just show the retime editor or command and R and that will bring it back up. So we're just gonna stretch these out. So I come to this other clip, command and R, stretch these out. Okay, and you can see now we'll get fast and super fast next to each other. Okay, which has this strange kind of rhythmic effect. Anyway, so that's a quick overview of how to speed up and slow down a clip. Um, there's lots more to cover on this topic, particularly if you're working um, with video of moving objects. Um, but here, this gives you a quick intro into how to get the, the basics right. One thing you'll want to do is before you make a judgment about how good your retiming is, is just to make sure it renders first. So you lose this orange bar at the top and then you'll really know how well um, your, your video is playing back with the retimes that you've done. Okay, and that's everything for today.